After two decades, the results speak for themselves. Our troubleshooter segment is celebrating its 20th anniversary. Many reporters have gone to bat for consumers in this role, and tonight we take a look back at the history of their fight for answers. It started with an idea in our newsroom from those who love to ask the tough questions. Are you licensed yet with the province to take money up front? Uh, I don't really see that's any of your business. Troubleshooter grew into a household name. Okay. If this airs, then I won't be contacted. Well, I won't be held up to blackmail, so it's going to air. Ross McLaughlin kicked off the segment in 1994. Well, once we did a couple of stories and we made a difference for people, those calls just started to come. My face, you probably wrap it around your neck. The troubleshooter segment gives people an opportunity to feel like they're being heard. It gives them a voice. Why did you tell us you were a licensed mechanic when you're not? Every troubleshooter brought a new flair to the role of consumer champion. You keep 25% of a customer's money even when the, your equipment doesn't work? Like Sandra Blakey. You promised me last time I was in How here. can I promise you something that I have no I, control I can show you the tape of what you promised us sure last time. Yeah, can we turn that down? Uh, no, actually, I wanted to ask you some questions. Please I, leave right now, okay? I don't have the time. We're just asking for some uh, simple uh, answers. Why won't you speak on camera? Uh, camera? Surely you're running a legitimate business and you have legitimate answers for why you've been charging this kind of money. And Robin Stickley. Why won't you return these calls? Were you making promises, though, that you knew you couldn't keep to these people? Hi there, calling about your Grey Cup tickets in the journal today. What are you asking for them? Ten years ago, I took on the role. Don't you care about what that family is going through? I mean, look at that. Look at my skin. We're just trying to get some answers for the people who are out money. Why do you lie to women? Well, I don't do that. Yes, you do. Troubleshooter has always been about helping our community, one problem and one person at a time. It felt like a huge weight was lifted off our shoulder. Now we can kind of start living our life in our house. Going to Troubleshooters really did save us here. I knew you would call. I knew you would do something. You did in one day what I've been trying to do in two and a half years. I just want to thank everybody for, for insisting that I call you. And boy, am I glad I did. Not too many people know that. You guys help a lot of people. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All week long, we'll look at more troubleshooter success stories, confrontations, and some memorable investigations.